everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Funfold Friday. I've got a really great Funfold for you today called the Center Flap Funfold. And we'll be making another Mother's Day card. You know, Mother's Day will be here in three weeks. So I've been giving you lots of great ideas using the retired the retiring stamp set inspiring iris i know a lot of you own that stamp set it's a really awesome stamp set but if you don't i really want to encourage you before time's up may 3rd to get yourself a uh, get yourself that stamp set okay um for those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page. Um, I help card makers with their card making by sharing tips and art design skills uh, in my card making tutorials. All right. Um, before we get started, though, for... Um, a quick reminder, just mentioned it, but we do have the last chance product sale going on. The uh, clearance rack, which is product that's already retired that they're trying to clear out so to make room for some more product. All right. Um, also, if you use my host code, uh, spend $50 or more and use the host code, then you get a free gift from me at the end of the month. Those of you who ordered from me um, last month and I, you have not received your free gift yet, be patient. The uh, Opal Rounds were back ordered and I still have not gotten them. Those are what I'm sending out to those of you uh, and um, plus some other stuff. So anyways, all right. Oh, well, look at all this. Hey, good morning, Dorothy and Jeanette and Debbie Spicer, Colleen and Deb Deborah Crowder. Good morning, you guys. And let's make a Mother's Day card. Here we go. All right. So uh, we need a list of supplies. Here we go. Our measurements. The first piece that you need is some colored card stock. And this is your base. It is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then you need the same color or coordinating color, and this one is two and three quarters by six, and we're going to score it at five and a half. Um, you need white. Uh oh, I got. Okay, I'll flip it over. Yeah, okay, clean on the other side. I right, be careful on your um, crafting space. You don't want. <laughs> stray art, uh, particles to mess up your cardstock. Anyways, it's a random comment there. <laughs> this one's cut at four by five and a quarter, and of course it's going to fit right there. Um, so we have that. Then we have some designer paper. This is from the Hydrangea Hill uh, designer paper series. This is my absolute last piece. There is no more left. <laughs> I used every single scrap of my Hydrangea Hill. That is how much I have loved this paper. And if you guys love it and don't have it, it will be retiring May 3rd. So be sure to get your hands on some because it is awesome. All right. Um, so we got that piece. Then we'll need some scraps. We are going to cut out um, this nesting die set. This is stitched on both sides, so the negative that you cut out is stitched and the tag uh, label is stitched also. Let me show you that up close. Oh, it's a little out of focus. Come on, focus. There it goes, focus. Um, this is retiring, but it's also on sale. So if you don't have this, jump over to the uh, last chance retirement sale and grab yourself. This one's on sale, so uh, awesome. And then last but not least, we're going to stamp and cut out a rose from the Inspiring Iris. Now, here's the Inspiring Iris. And let me get um, this out of our way so we can see. This is the Inspiring Iris. And it not only has the iris, but it also has carnations and roses. All right. And so we're going to use this rose set here. And so I need a scrap piece of paper, which I forgot to grab. Let me grab that real quick. There we go and our stamp. So I'm going to use the outline first and I am going to go ahead and do this outline in black. Hey Stephanie, welcome! You all, Stephanie just signed up to be a part of this amazing stamping family. Welcome Stephanie to this Facebook Live and to the Stampin' Up! family. Awesome! I know you are going to just love being a demonstrator. All right, here we go. That is the rose. Let me um zoom in a little bit so y'all can see better. There we go. Okay, so there is the rose. Now, 
these are the filler stamps here and I am using these and these colors also are retiring got lots of things retiring these in colors from two years ago um, if you like them they are retiring you want to get your hands on them some of them have already sold out but um, here's Rococo Rose and oh goodness let me see I've got to rotate this till I find where it goes I think it goes this way well I thought it went that way hold on you guys I had it all lined up earlier I'm rotating till I find ah where is it it must go right here there it is okay let me stamp it up again oh I think I didn't get it centered well Oh, that's okay. It looks good. Um, that's the nice thing about the Stamparatus. You can line it up better, but photopolymers, you can see through it, so um, it still looks good. All right, and then the Pretty Peacock, and I know a lot of people loved the Pretty Peacock, and I'll give you a hint. If you have seen the new in color, some, some demonstrators have already started um, showing you the new in colors for this year's new catalog. We have another dark uh, green like this. Um, you forever forest or something evergreen I'm not sure okay there we go now what I want to do is I want to fussy cut this piece we do not have a die that cuts it out so you have to use a pair of scissors and you just have to start cutting now of course I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me cut this out all right I have already cut it out for you I'll finish cutting this one out for another card later but here we go. Voila. <laughs> it's cut out. Oh, and also I want you to see this one I cut out last night and this one I stamped today. See how darker this one is? It's still a little bit wet. When it dries, it's a really pretty dusty rose. So, all right. Now let's put our card together. So we have, this is called the um, Center Flap uh, fa uh, Fun Fold. So I need to, first of all, I need to score these two pieces here, okay? Um, these are both going to be scored at five and a half. Okay, so make sure you use your scoring tool and not your blade on here. And then this one is also scored at five and a half. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to tape these two together and um, start making our flap. So let me zoom out back out a little bit so y'all can watch. All right, so um, I have my adhesive. All right, and I'm going to put some there and there. There, some there, we just have it everywhere. All right, now you wanna match up the folds. And of course, those of you on my team that were at the Zoom meeting, <clears throat> this was our mystery our mystery stamping that we did as a team. All right, it's on there good, and we're gonna fold this flap back, okay? I'm just gonna fold that back like that. There we go. And get it nice and squished down. Now, take your white, and you're gonna just lip that over like, whoops, lip that over like that. We're gonna glue that to the back there, okay? And I wanna use liquid glue because um, when you start um, moving pieces on your card, you want to make sure you have a very strong adhesive, okay? And liquid, our liquid glue is super strong. So is our stamp and Seal Plus. It's very strong also. There we go. Oh, wow. Look at all these people I have here this morning. I love you guys. Y'all are so awesome. So awesome. Yay. Good morning, Mima. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Kathleen, Lynn, Oh my goodness. Hey, Kim. You know, Kim Whitman has been with me, I think, since the very first day I started doing these Facebook Lives. You are so wonderful, Kim, to always come back every time and watch me. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this to the base, okay? So, and go over there, and there, and there. Lots of glue. And we're just going to center this on here. And what this is going to do is it's going to uh, keep our hinge tight between the two layers. Okay. Hey, Mary. Hello from Wisconsin. 
There we go. I think we got that on there good. And, oh, it looks like uh, my measurement was a little bit off. Okay, so no big deal. Just flip it over and trim it. There we go. All right, so there we have that. Now, let's make the rest of it. So like I said, I cut these two pieces out from the um, nesting dies, and I'm just going to, well, first, before I adhere these, let me go ahead and stamp the sentiment. That way, if I accidentally mess up, I can redo it and not have to make redo the whole card. But usually I don't, it's not really a problem. Okay, and we're just gonna put thanks, and I love how thanks is on a curve. I think that's cool. There we go, perfect. And then we're gonna take our rose and we're just gonna put our rose right there like that. Of course, we gotta pop it up on dimensionals. There we go, and you can see where I messed up on the back. Actually, I was testing. I didn't know if I liked the black outline better or if a lighter one would be better, but I really, I really like the black better. So that's what I was playing around with this last night. Okay, and we have our dimensionals on there. There we go, and let's just put that right there. Okay, perfect. And now let's adhere this onto here. And now this is going to go on here. And, of course, I need to pop it up on dimensionals. <laughs> What's a card without dimensionals, right? And for those of you, I always love showing this little trick. And um, if you've noticed on the Christina's Creative Stampers group, I've been trying to share tips with you on Saturday. So this is a tip that I have, is using a piercing tool to grab the backs of your dimensionals so they're all kind of wrangled together and they don't get all over the place. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put this kind of to the bottom here because I'm going to put some ribbon up here. Now, notice I have this little bit of green, okay, here and here. And like I said, I like to uh, share uh, art design with with my stampers and one thing about art design is using what we call the triangle and what that means is you take an element whether it's a color or um, an embellishment or some or a shape and you make a triangle so that your eye will be led to whatever piece you really want to focus on on your art project, and in this case, a card. So I really want my eye to go to thanks. And right now it does, the green is darker than the pink, and so your eye does go there. But it keeps your eye down here at the bottom of the card. The whole card um, is really the project. So you need something up here to bring your eye back up to make it a whole, uh, pro a whole um, art piece. And so we're gonna get the Pretty Peacock Linen. Uh, scalloped ribbon and by the way this is on sale too this ribbon is usually eight dollars and it is on sale for three dollars and twenty cents and it comes in all the different um, in colors all right and I'm just gonna th this ribbon is really stiff and um, it does it doesn't do well for a bow so we're gonna do a knot which um, I'm just gonna trim off a little bit here and do the knot Okay, and um, all right, I want to make sure the colored part of the ribbon sticks out. So, yeah, there we go. So, so make it wrap over on the back side, and then so when you tuck it in to make the knot, the colored side is up. There we go. Okay, and then we're just going to tighten that. And we'll trim it down a little bit more. It's a little bit big there. And here. Whoops, come on. There we go. All right. Now, when you look at the card, you see the whole thing. See how that green ribbon just really pulls it all together? 
What do you guys think? Happy Mother's Day. Oh, actually, this is a thanks card. I was going to make a Mother's Day card. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, well. <laughs> it's okay. Um, thanks, Mom, for being a great mom. So you could still be a Mother's Day card. There we go. Thanks for being an awesome mom. There you go. <laughs> you guys are so cool. All right, let me pull this up. Wait a minute. What was I doing? Down, up, over. Hello there. All right. So for a recap, remember we have a retiring sale and a clearance sale going on. And if you use the host code, um, you get a free gift at the end of the month. But also, if you want to save even more money, I want to tell you, Stephanie, um, she just signed yesterday. But when you sign up to be a part of the Stampin' Up! family and um, join the team, you get your 20% discount on top of the sale. So you really save money that way. Or you also can start your own business like I've got, and I am here to share with you how to do that. So if you're interested in any of that, just reach out to me and I'll be happy to share with you. You all have a awesome weekend and I will be back on Monday with another card tutorial for you. Bye-bye. <laughs>